Hello guys and welcome to Glide by Prep Eve. So before you watch this interview, uh, a review of the one of the most in demand colleges that is the Centennial College based in Toronto. So before you watch this, today is 3rd of June. Okay, today is 3rd of June. 12th of June is the last day to apply for September 2020. If you're targeting September 2020, then it is the last day to apply for Centennial College. There's no application fee. If you have 125 in your Duolingo, if you have all your documents ready, just email me your documents or just you know WhatsApp me the documents on the number or the email given in the description box, and let's process your application for Centennial College. Okay. So I hope you like this. I hope you like this review. And Three, two, one. Hello, guys, and welcome to Glide by Prep Eve. Uh, where we help you make wiser and better decisions when it comes to your education abroad. So today I have with me Dilpreet who is currently in Canada and he has completed his course from one of the most sought after colleges I must say which is the Centennial College in uh, Toronto. So Dilpreet has finished his course in robotics and automation. So Dilpreet has a very good educational background I must say. So he finished his uh, engineering from Thapar University Patiala, which is one of the best universities in India, I must say. He had a CGPA of seven, and after that he went for this course uh, at the Centennial College. He has finished it, and he is currently working um, in Toronto itself. So let's have a word with him on how was his experience, and would he recommend this course to the people who are uh, looking forward to build a career in robotics and automation in Canada or not? So Dilpreet, a quick introduction of yourself, of you know the things that I have missed. Uh, okay, good afternoon, sir. Right. Yeah. Uh, yes, sir. I completed my graduation from Thapa University, Patiala, and mm -hmm. after that, uh, I'm working for one year over there. I mm -hmm. made a plan. Let's go to Canada for higher studies and making a career over there. So I applied mm -hmm. for the colleges and I got uh, admission into the uh, Centennial College in mm -hmm. Automation and Robotics. And I just completed last month. I have completed my graduation over there. It was a one-year course only. And okay. uh, right now I'm working here. Oh, great. So uh, Dilpreet, there's this uh, you know question that I get or, or almost every day that sir colleges like Centennial, Seneca that these are very tough right that it is very difficult to finish a course there. So will I be able to manage my part time jobs because I don't have a lot of money to uh, take care of my expenses and all those things. So what is your take on this? Uh, so tough is nowhere near what actually is. It's nowhere near that tough. Uh, mm -hmm. the, the students like uh, students like us who have gone through studies uh, education system in India they find it really easy over there. The, okay. There is not a slight bit of pressure on mm -hmm. the students. They have ample time to work part time and mm -hmm. gather all their expenses. And study as such is also it's very easy I would say and okay. very student oriented and job oriented I would say. Uh, there is a, a lot of stress on practical work and okay. we don't have to go through lengthy books like we go through in India. Okay, so uh, since this college is based out in Toronto, I think it is one of the most expensive cities of the world, not over, not even Canada. It's one of the most expensive cities of the world to live in. So yeah. how how easy or how hard is it, you know, considering the part time job opportunities in Toronto? I know that, you know, end of the day, uh, most of the full time job opportunities are in Toronto itself. But if I talk about part time job opportunities as an international student, uh, coming from a middle class background, coming from a humble background, uh, can a student manage financially? Uh, yes, as you have said that uh, living over here is a bit expensive if we compare it to other, other countryside uh, cities. Mm -hmm. But uh, as there are ample job opportunities also. Uh, like uh, the way, like when I landed over here, uh, mm -hmm. I had one or two good friends that who guided me like you have landed over there. Just don't waste your time in these activities. Mm -hmm. Just set this direction right like when i came over i uh, straight away i applied for my security license okay. and made this had a proper resume and applied at multiple locations uh, okay. it's not that uh, we will apply at five places and we will get a job offer you will have to apply at like 20 30 and then hmm. only you can go through. but it's not uh, but you will get through uh, okay. and security and mostly students prefer over their security jobs because they are relatively easier 
and they have they get time there's no much not much of a physical work involved in yeah. that and you have get time to your studies and even if you do part time job like you mm-hmm. can work around 20 hours you will be mm-hmm. able to gather your expenses okay great uh so dilpreet now let's have a discussion on this particular college and the course so what's which which campus are you at uh, in centennial uh, so i am at centennial college uh, progress campus okay. so that happens to be at downtown right uh, no not downtown it is in scarborough okay all right cool so uh, this particular campus so what's your review on this how is the campus life uh so i must say that it is if we compare all the colleges it is one of the best rather i would say it is the best and when it comes to the campus life as compared to the colleges uh, mm-hmm. and no people just say it as a, like it it is just like a mini university it's not a they have all facilities even if it is sports uh hostel facilities they are all included in this and uh, other facilities like uh, like i'm from technical background so we have a lot of lab works the labs over there are very well furbished well maintained labs you get uh, enough equipments to work on and uh, the staff and all those facilities i have i am very much satisfied with these things when it comes to the campus life over here okay a student the- who comes like uh, like i have then graduation in india so i was used to to the college life but the stu- uh, students who come after 12th they got mm-hmm. a good touch of how the college life really is as compared okay. to other colleges as compared to the other colleges all right great so uh dilpreet i have one question right so if i look at your profile you have a very strong academic profile already okay so you are someone who is working right now you know it makes a lot of sense but you must be having some seniors you must be knowing some alumni uh what are the job opportunities like after a, an average student finish after an average student finishes this course right so what you know what do you see that is let's say 50% or let's say 60% of the class in good jobs after they finish this course uh yes sir. uh the job opportunities are decent like okay. uh, automation and robotics is one such field that is growing it has not mm-hmm. reached its peak and it's growing and future is it is a very it has a very bright future i would say because every field like it is automation. automotive sector automotive sector or even food industry any many sector they are moving towards automation so job opportunities will be increasing in the future and if if i talk about presently also my few of my seniors like one of my senior was my classmate in thapar also uh, mantek mm-hmm. singh uh, mm-hmm. he was selected for internship right now when he was working in the college for internship and he got his job offer from there only okay yeah and, in most students uh, convert their internships or job internship. or co-op. yes and uh, other senior also two more two or three more seniors of, of mine they are they have also got de- decent offers in their fields that in their field of study automation and robotics only and my my own classmates they are also working right now like i i had different plans so i mm-hmm. didn't go after the job of my sector mm-hmm. but my mm-hmm. friends who were interested in getting into jobs in the, to their sector they have got a decent job offers and they are working quite, quite well over there all right great so uh, dilpreet any suggestions uh, to the students who are, or, or before that one question in that might that is there in uh, the minds of many students so um you know a lot of people from mechanical and mechatronics background generally apply for this course right even students from electrical background apply yes. for this if i am not yes. wrong right yes. so for that uh, you know they don't have a lot of programming experience right yes. but when i talk about robotics and automation the very first thing that comes to my mind is long lines of code right and uh, you know all these things that how how will a student who ha- who doesn't have a lot of experience right computer science graduates it is you know pretty much basic for them to learn programming yes but for the students of mechanical mechatronics electrical programming is just another subject that they have to complete so how do they manage how do they particularly manage programming uh so the pro- like uh, i have worked on abb and fanuc robots uh, okay. the programming whenever a, a raw student i would say a layman when he has about programming what you have said that a long lines of code just he starts imagining this thing but it is it is not the same here over here 
they okay. the course modules that they have prepared are mm-hmm. very easy mm-hmm. very job oriented that like i have already said and we don't have to go through those bulky codes okay uh it is relatively easy for the students and to student they don't face we don't i like personally i am also not not a that good fan of coding thing mm-hmm. but i have done pretty well over in over here in coding also so any student who has a interest who even shows a little bit of interest in coding he will get through it it won't be a big task for him okay so guys i must tell you all dilpreet has uh, a cgpa of more than 9 right now like you know when he graduated from the course so dilpreet getting a good cgpa did it give you any financial benefits let's talk about the dollars was there any scholarship any bursary anything that came back to you uh no i didn't i have not i had not applied for any of the scholarships but the okay. biggest thing that it had done to me was my own personal confidence i was just i was not after a marks over here to get any monetary benefits are but it was just my personal yeah are there any if, benefits? yes yes definitely uh if you have a set if your cgpa is above certain limit mine was only a one year course so if someone has a two year course or three years course if he shows okay. the results like this over here from the next he, next year he can apply okay. for the scholarships okay so you have yes. to go there perform the first year then for the next year you might get a good scholarship right yes i yes. think this applies to almost all the colleges in ontario yeah Pretty. every college is because there are different scholarship programs college college limited and even the state province province limited yeah okay cool all right so then please any last set of words that you would like to give to the students who are targeting this course and uh, you know maybe that why they should choose this course and why they should not choose this course uh if i talk about the positives the students uh, this course this course has a good scope in the future it will help them get a decent job related to their field uh no doubt about it. there's no doubt in this but don't get into this course just seeing that i'll get a good job because uh if you don't have the interest in the if you don't have interest in coding or mechanics and electronics and you are just here for to get the job just mm-hmm. keep in mind that you have to do this thing not only for you don't have to study only for one year this thing you have to then for do the rest under- of your life you have to do the job in this field you right. might be able to get away with the one year but next year might just if you have interest in this thing just don't think this- twice just go straight for this that's a, that's a very good point that you have brought i you know always talk about it in my videos that still you're talking about don't go for it go for this course just because it will give you good job opportunities there are students who ask me to suggest me a course that will be easy for the pr see every course will give you the pr okay yes. but the permanent residence should not be your end goal what after permanent residence this is the main struggle i i believe that the easiest part in the canadian immigration plan is the pr right it is the yes. easiest <laughs> <laughs> right now the real struggle begins once you are a pr now you know that yeah. oh now i have a pr i have achieved this goal now yeah. what to do right you're, right you are back at you are back at square one you have to start from then again from scratch because you the study that you had done you don't have interest in that you are not getting a job in that correct okay so to sum it up good course good college and overall uh, you know as we were having a conversation the professors are helpful as well so the job opportunities the seniors have a good job record as well that the people who actually worked hard got it and not very difficult to complete the course yeah. right as compared to what is being spread in the market that no. to be very honest uh, guys uh, you know i i will speak it on a public platform consultants will say that this course is uh, difficult and this course is easy because they are getting more commission from the other course that is it there is no other reason all the courses all the colleges have a set standard of education and they are all are delivering it right so yeah. you it will never be the case that okay fanshaw college is a very easy course right no because the course because the degree that you will be getting will be having the equal uh, value as you will be doing it from seneca or centennial or for or for that matter conestoga okay so all these colleges have a good standard to maintain they are working on it so you it is on you that you you know do your research well and then go for it and to the people who want to apply to centennial college i must say that we have a 100% application fee waiver 
on uh, all the colleges on all the courses at Centennial. So you can happily come to us and we will be sending your application for free. Uh, no terms and conditions, no nothing. We don't charge any uh, consultancy fee on top of it or anything. It would be absolutely 100% free. So, okay, Dilpreet, uh, thanks a lot for this session. You know, I had posted videos for computer science students, for civil engineering students. So, uh, yours is the first video for uh, mechanical and mechatronics background students. So, I hope that hundreds and thousands of students are going to benefit from this. <laughs> All right. Oh, so, yes, sir. All right. So, any last words from you? Then we will wrap up the session. Uh, so, thanks for you. Thanks for contacting me through this, and all the best to all the future aspirants who are coming to have their future over here in Canada. All, all I can say is just wish them luck. Good thing. Thank you very much, Dilpreet.